God. Listen, it's everyone's favorite motherfucking cousin. And she not a play cousin. She a real cousin. Naomi Smalls is back on Stealing Watchery. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm so excited to be filling in. Thank you so much <laughs> for having me. Are you kidding me? Listen, there are there are three guests of the fans, whatever the, our patrons or anyone who listens to our podcast, whenever have you... Peppermint or Bianca, they go they go up. So you're doing us a solid by giving us your time. Oh, I love. I'm honored. I'm actually like so I'm just like studying right now because I've never been in the studio. Oh, Lights, right, you're right. camera, you're right. action. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> I, oh, you've never seen Bob's studio at the, at the house? I saw uh the house when Bob like first bought it and oh, like, yeah. they were still doing renovations and everything. So it's so oh, this yeah. is like probably the most adult place I've seen like Bob yeah. live in. Right? And because yeah. you've seen all of Bob. Did you ever go to 945 Amsterdam? The one like in Upper West Side? Um, I went there when he was like clearing it out and like he had to like get some like final things. It was tiny. Girl. Tiny. Shoebox. It's probably yeah. the size of that room you're sitting in right now. It was such a small <laughs> apartment. A yeah. small shitty apartment. Um, Come up. The come up, honey. Now she's the in her little up. condo, honey, in 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 in, in Los Angeles. I said, okay, darling. Okay, the dolls are darling. But enough about her. I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Naomi. Before we jump in, 15 seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race. This is the 15th season. Because you know we, we're just talking to you now. How do you feel about the girls so far? Like season 15 as a whole. Yay, nay, chop, wop, what? Oh, I think honestly. Every season is a yay for me. I just yeah. love watching drag. Like, there's never, like, a time where I'm like, this cast sucks because there's always someone or, in this case, there's always, like, eight people now who, like, are someone to watch. Uh-huh. Yeah, I will say that, too. I think that, well, there's been this whole debacle because the fucking episodes are four, are, are um, an hour instead of an hour and a half. People are like, no, that's not fair. They can't do that. I'm like, y'all are forgetting book from season nine before they were an hour long and they used to like season nine had 14 girls and it was crammed into an hour and it made sense but now i think people are just spoiled and they just want to yeah. be mad that the episode's an hour and a half but they always used to be an hour when you give a mouse a cookie <laughs> we are literally so spoiled we are so but there's also so many girls so it's really hard to like yeah. highlight each one yeah but they are season the, the, no, go the ahead. thing i noticed about this cast is how young they are they're all just so like not all of them, but like the majority it's just though. So young, but it's been like getting like that season after season after season. Like the bitches that I think would like, like, like they present old to me aren't even that old. Like Mistress Isabel Brooks, she like she, she gives me like older queen, but mm -hmm. she's only she's only like twenty four years old. So like the average age is mad young with these girls. They're mad fucking young. But like also like they're not that it's like they're almost like young young mental space like yeah um, i agree because some of the, i think the twins are like 23 23 like Lux is like 23 yeah. but like we've had girls who are like 21 true show, you know true you were 22 i was 21 aja 21. was 21 i think Tyra Aquaria. or james was 21 uh-huh aquaria was 21 yeah gag and I was going to say season eight, yes, season eight was 10 minutes, but y'all, I think y'all had like the shortest, like the least amount of girls on a season ever. Y'all only had like 12, like 12 or something like that. Y'all had like a, only a little bit of girls. Yeah. And the tallest bitches, tallest bitches, shortest season. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say th that's the thing with this season, like besides fucking Jax, everyone else is, is the same height. So I'm like, are all of these girls like five seven, or are they another season eight round of bitches where they all just fucking tall? So it, it makes you you can't really tell that they're 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 giant ass girls. Who's the tallest right now? I think it might be Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, really? Marsha. Oh my gosh, she gives I, me like five four vibes, but gag. No, because uh, Jax is five three. Crazy. Oh, that's so fierce. That's so fierce. No, Na oh, Naomi, you would you would change the <laughs> legs of a legend to be five? Th no, no. Well, I would no. rather have it be like you're either going to be like the six five goddess, or you're going to be like the cute and cunty Georges. Like, there's <laughs> like I I wouldn't want to be in between. I'd want to be like 
either. <laughs> and Naomi said, all y'all bitches in between is my <laughs> son. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's jump on in. So right at the top, Spice is going through her, girl. She is crying because her sister, Sugar, went home. And, you know, I know a couple twins in my life, and I don't know. They're always like codependent. I've never met a set of twins. No, sh no shade if you are. I'm not saying all twins are, but all the twins that I've met, they're pretty codependent, and they kind of need each other to do stuff. Oh, I would. And be, she's very kind. I would be the same way if I had a twin. Like I think everyone else <laughs> would not matter if I knew that. Like at the end of the day, this bitch knows me like the back of her hand, and she'll always have my back. I already miss yeah. Sugar so much on Drag Race. Okay, what are your thoughts about the twins? Because I could not. I don't like. Th I like the twins. I really like them. I did not like the whole matchy matchy everything. Like, like I would, I want, I would want my own identity a little bit. I liked it. Word. I liked it. Like, I liked it that they were like kind of presenting like their own like collection in a way. Mm -hmm. Like, and everything was cohesive. I think if I were to do it with a twin, I'd probably want to do the exact same thing because we've never seen it on Drag Race. I think like yeah, that like. I understand not liking it because you cannot put yourself in those shoes, you know, and that's just like the beauty of being a twin. Yeah, I will. I will never have that experience. I would never sure. have that. I thought Sugar was actually going to um, stick around longer than Spice, just based on interesting like, personal personality. But I think that Spice is um, a lot Drag. more like together when it comes to like the makeup and hair and just yeah precision. Yeah. Aesthetically, I I think Spice like it's like so many wigs Spice wore. I was like, bitch, give me that shit, bitch. I want that. Like, I think Spice has some really cool drag. I'm not Sugar is not necessarily. Although I'm a sweet girl, Sugar's aesthetic was not my kind of thing. But Spice for sure. Yes, I, I I'm in the same boat. Yeah. Um, and then so Lucy points out that Mistress was not delusional, and she was the second because. <laughs> Mistress had this shady moment in the tuck. She just looks at Marsha and she goes, Marsha, this is a direct quote, y'all. Marsha, I don't think you were behind her because your look is kind of cheap. And in Snatch Game, I don't think you were that funny. I am so here for Mistress being cunty. I love, this is the kind of fucking drag I like. I like this shit when bitches are cutting each other down. Because yeah, you're doing it, but she she she, not, she don't mean it like in her heart. She's just saying some, some shady shit on TV. And I like it, but the fans are fucking... Uh, getting her Instagram fucking removed. They fucking blocked her Twitter. Like, the fans are really getting this bitch fucked up. I know. You literally just cannot, like, say the truth, apparently, on television anymore. Because I don't think she's really being cunty. I don't think she's being shady. I really just think she's being a drag queen. Yeah. And the, the kids can't take it. because The kids can't take. Like, drag race is not, like, what we experience in a dressing room. And, like, yeah. how we grew up doing drag. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you grew up with Raven. I can, I cannot, I cannot imagine being on the scene with the Raven. Raven just like I couldn't imagine. I would, I, I would live. But I appreciated it so much because it kept me like in reality. Like I think that your friends and like your peers should be telling you the truth instead of like telling you Word. your wig looks good and then you walk out and it's like levitating sideburn you know like we want Words. the truth because it's going to make us excel so we so there we would Naomi and i we were on the um the work the world tour and the work yeah work the world tour together 2018 19 or whatever year that was and so many times i because like three days into the, into the tour i just i just abandoned nails so every time <laughs> we were going into the going to the stage and we'd be like no nails huh <laughs> or <laughs> my wig was looking crazy. And was like, come here. Let me, and she would like brush my brush my kitty cat for me. Like that's that's the kind of bitches you need in your life. No nails. Interesting. Uh-huh. I mean, you knew you weren't wearing nails, but I needed you to know that I knew you also weren't wearing nails. <laughs> Cause honestly, nails, people people love to talk about how annoying nails are. It takes an extra what? Not even two minutes. N right? Naomi, like five minutes. It does not take five minutes to put that crazy glue <laughs> brush on. You just have to line up your nails before you get ready. That's the key. Line up the 10 nails before you get ready and it will take you like a minute and maybe a minute. Maybe. <laughs> like I'm rushing to the stage while I'm gluing nails on and I'm fine. 
Okay, I'm gonna honestly, I'm gonna do a Patreon exclusive of me timing myself gluing nails on, and we'll see. Because I, I think it takes about five minutes. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> you're doing it wrong. <laughs> well, I started doing gel tabs, and I know you yeah. don't believe in the, in the, but the gel fucking glue tabs, they're everything, bitch. It changed my I life. Just, I think I'm like too hardcore for the gel tabs, but this is also coming from someone who's never tried it. It's good. It's good, girl. It's good. Um, Spice thinks that Aura should have been in the bottom over Sugar from last week's episode from The Ball. And um, I mean, from Snatch Game, sorry. And I don't think so. I think Aura's, I think they were both bad at the Snatch, but Aura's runway was 10 times better than Sugar's. So I'm like, bitch, you're bugging. No. I, I agree. I think Aura mm. likes, I think Aura's runway was actually probably like my, one of my favorite concepts. Um, the delivery was unnecessary with the whole. Well, I don't know what she's doing on the runway with. It's, she's almost like the Utica of the season, like the, <laughs> like oh the. I don't even know what you call that. The histrionics. Uh, yeah, I can't. It's just too much. Bob and I call her the cringe queen because there's there's always something a little cringy about what Aura does every episode, and I just can't with Aura. Like I really want to like her, but she's just such a derpy little. Uh, I think I'm fly. I think I'm sexy. What up? Like she's one of those yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of girls. Yeah, yeah. I can't. Honestly, though, the arms, mm. the muscles go off. Oh, for sure. For sure. But I like when people are hot. Don't tell me you're hot because, bitch, I have eyes. Right. I know you're hot. I know you're fine. You don't got to tell me that, bitch. I know. I think also, like, we can just say it now. Anitra is the trade of the season. You think so? Yeah. And I also love that she's never talked about it. Who do you think is... I mean, I don't really also think that the, the terminology of drag race trade is trade, but... When True. the girls like to say, you know, the trade of the season, I would say that Anitra is like mm, Anitra is too it. soft and cunt for me to be to be a trade. Of, of, even if, even by drag race standards, she just like mm, I don't see for Anitra. I, I do think Aura is the trade, but now the fact that she's told me out of principle, I'm like, bitch, you're not. Yeah, maybe just shut up. <laughs> um, we go into the work of the next day and it's the reading challenge they're doing everything so early this season snatch game happened so early and the reading challenge with like four, 13 people it seems mad early they're doing the reading challenge but it was a good one yeah next week's gonna be tiktok lunch girl right <laughs> for the first time in drag race history we have a top 10 <laughs> what were some reads that stuck out to you Oh, I loved um I, the one that fucking Lucy did about about mistress's kitten heels, about how they didn't start that way. I thought that was very a very clever joke. I thought oh. it was really good. I thought that was really good. And um the Lux made one about someone I can't remember. I thought it was very funny too. Was that the uh, Marshalls, Marshalls, Marshalls? Yes, Marshalls, Marshalls, Marshalls. I see because no shade. And you know me, I am a fan of pedestrian drag. I I will get something from Target and wear it. But I mean, not on RuPaul's Drag Race. Never. Not even season ten would I dare to wear some shit from from the store. I don't know that diamond one. <laughs> <laughs> A designer made that for me. Chris That's Haynes. That's crazy. <laughs> Chris Haynes in New York City made that for me. Have you worked with Chris Haynes again? Never. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, they, they had some really good reads. But but also, to be fair, though, they only showed one of each person. I know, so, it was so fast. And so you can get you can you can get the best of every one if you only show one read. Whereas in All Stars or something, they show like three of your reads, so you know you have less of a chance for it feeling fierce. Yeah, I think they used to put up like the full versions of like the reading challenge and stuff online. I don't know if they do that anymore. No, I don't think they do. I, th I think they stopped doing that. I don't know why, but they remember, they stopped giving us that shit. I remember leaving the reading challenge after watching and thinking that I thought Sasha was going to win. So I was surprised when Lucy won. Oh, really? Like Sasha, Sasha was strong as well. But and again, so they only showed two of Sasha's and three mm. of Lucy's. So it makes us feel like Lucy won. But maybe Sasha had three good ones as well. But I, 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 that's being said, I really did like um, um, Lucy's reads. I thought they were, they were really good. Lucy is, and I think Lucy is, okay, 
real backtrack. I think Lucy the trade of the season for me. I'm sure she would love to hear you say that. <laughs> I think it's the tattoos. <laughs> I think Lucy has a cute face, but the tattoos and also she has man hands. And I when I am when I look for a lover, I look for teeth and hands. And Lucy has some man concrete hands, which I'm like, oof, work. A brick. A brick, girl. Just a rough ass brick hands that fucking slap me a little bit of fucking you know, I'm I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> but she kind of dresses like a 12 year old i don't understand it's kind of yeah 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 and also yeah. the voice but also i'm not bothered by the voice so i'm like if we have if if if, if i had some trade that had a high voice like that i would kind of be into it a lot actually. yeah i do I'm love the voice up. i do love, love the, the voice, voice. <laughs> especially in paint <laughs> so Rue introduces the challenge and um I love that this is a spin like like making them do like like a, a, a house of fashion I like that this is a spin on the classic design challenge make kind of making everyone stick into a thing I mm -hmm. like that yeah that was cute I loved like that um instead of everyone having different themes or it going just like crazy like different concepts and it's like yeah yeah I liked that too I think uh I don't really understand the whole room thing, but it was a cute like yeah. camera thing. It kind of was giving me like Club ninety six flashbacks. I was like, Bitch. oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> Naomi, I, in my humble opinion, I honestly feel of all the challenges I've done on Drag Race over three seasons now, the room one in the moment I hated it, but thinking back on it now and like watching it, it was one of my favorite. I think it's my favorite challenge I've ever done on Drag Race. Oh, I love that. Crazy, and we weren't even together. We were. <laughs> <laughs> I will just never forget you trying to like funnel you and Valentina's ideas together, and she was just all over the room. She was talking to our group. She was going outside to go do the thing, and Naomi is like trying. She's like, "Bitch, if you don't come here and get get these motherfucking ideas together, like you were really like trying to crack the whip." But this bitch would not give you the time of day. And it was like I remember the producers. They were kind of like in the interview. They were wanting me to almost not drag Valentina, but to like kind of like vent and complain about like her participation. But honestly, like it was an honor and a privilege because I stand Valentina so hard <laughs> and I had the best time with her and all my memories with her that day are just like so special to me. And honestly, Club 96 <laughs> is the only club you fucking remember. <laughs> it really is. It's the only one. Not even the fucking one that the, the bitches that won. I don't remember. They, there was like yellow or something. Oh, yeah, they did that B shit. But again, you don't think about that. You think about Club 96. Yeah. And it was going to be Club 69 first, right? I don't think they let us. Or maybe, honestly, I don't even know how we landed on that idea. <laughs> but thank God, because it's iconic. And yeah. At my at my I did a show in Kansas City the other night, or maybe it was Des Moines, one of those two. And this two people in the front row, that Club ninety six hoodies girl. I was like, Oh, the Club ninety six. I, mean, I did a little little moment with them, but I was like, Yeah, bitch, come on, Club ninety six. She mm. will live on. Yes, forever. Well, bitch, what you honestly did you, you should think about opening a bar. If you open a bar, Naomi, in WeHo called Club ninety six, bitch. Up and it's up and it's up and it's stuck. Lance Bass, are you listening? <laughs> We're pitching. We're pitching. Girl, that would be fierce, bitch. I, I, I would, if, if, you know what, let's, Bobby said this idea one, once upon a time. He's like, you know, Mona, you know, you know, you know him. Always have an oh, idea. Always. He's like, I think that like four root girls should get together. We should like buy a bar. And I'm like, that just sounds like so much red tape. That sounds like there's going to be a lot of problems. But, you know, I would go, no. I would go half on a cup with you. Monet, what we have to do is send anonymously clone a willies to 17 drag race queens. Yeah. Bob, Bob's full <laughs> of the crazy ideas. <laughs> oh, bitch. Of course I did. <laughs> but I've also heard about this idea for the past, like, I think, like, four years. <laughs> it's crazy. I was like, girl, you are wild. Um, which, so out of the Michelle room, the Ross room, the Carson room, which one would you have wanted? Um, Probably Michelle. Just because I think I'm like, a, I, when I think of Naomi Smalls, I try and think of, like, high femme queen. So I think my immediate would probably be Michelle. 
I would I would want a Carson because you know I love me a tartan. I love me like a flannel, all that stuff. I would have definitely wanted to play in that realm. Um, but I definitely would not want the Palm Springs Saint Tropez uh, Cavalli uh, thing. I would not want that. Yeah, I'm surprised it wasn't just like a bunch of like reversible sequin for Ross. <laughs> And this is the brilliance of Naomi Small Shade. It's, so, it's, it's honestly though, it's so weird trying to read and like be just be like in this zone without like a wig on and like nails. It's so weird talking out of drag about yeah and trying to be cunty. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're nailing it. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's not going anywhere. I'm just giving you the observation. <laughs> So this is moment. They're all in the room trying to cut, kind of um, get the fabric from the rooms that they want. And Spice is cutting the fabric off the pillow <laughs> and not unzipping it. And I was sitting there like, they're making fun of her. That is absolutely something I would do. Like in the moment, I wouldn't even think about it. I'll just be like, oh, these, girls are, these girls are going to come for the twins regardless. Mm -hmm. Regardless. But I probably would do the same thing. <laughs> I would be like, if I'm going to point it out to me, I'd be like, oh, yeah. But, you know, whatever. It's stressful. Dragons is fucking stressful, all right? Um, so as they're working, Malaysia said that she's never sewn before. Well, she had, we later find out she had one sewing class going to Drag Race. And at this point, I think everyone talks about this every season, going to Drag Race, not knowing how to sew. I mean, I, yeah, I get that it's it, like you should know, but also if you can fucking win it, wing it and like do a good job, whatever. Don't know how to sew. Who cares? I, I couldn't. I mean, I tried to learn how to thread a sewing machine before leaving for Drag Race Season 8, and I gave up, like, 30 seconds in. Like, my best friend, Christina, Stina, she makes all the corsets and everything. Like, nope, it was a wrap. I just could not. But it, it, I mean, I didn't need it. I just knew, like, it's, like, hot glue, spray paint, safety paint. Yeah. See, I can't hot glue. I don't know how to hot glue. Like, I'm just not good at that. Like... I mean, I, in All Stars 7, that green thing, I did hot glue that top together and it ended up working out. But hot gluing sounds like I, I think back, I cannot believe Ben de la Creme made that fucking thing out of hot glue. Like, that's crazy to me. I'm not ben a hot glue wizard. Ben love. I right? Yeah. Really, really, really good. What, you wait, your vision. Your scarecrow thing, that was all hot glued? Oh my God. I was like, say, okay, I used say, a bunch of safety, safety pins, hot pins. glue. I used a staple gun, and I remember I was staple gunning it like on the floor, and it got stuck to the floor. It was a whole thing, but thank God but, that was like kind of like a distress. Luck, you know. <laughs> but Naomi, Bob still had did Bob. You know, Bob has it in his house where you're at right now. I don't even want to see it because I know I probably couldn't fit that thing anymore. <laughs> that there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> But I think Bob wants to open like a museum. I always think about that. Like when I'm getting rid of drag and stuff, I'm like, should I keep this for Bob? The another, 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 again, another idea, girl. And another one. Thank you. Another <laughs> idea. That'd be a good one, though. Do you still have your purple finale All Stars 4? I do. You want to buy it? <laughs> I wear, to go around no, my I, fucking wrist, my ankle. I do girl. have it. I do have it. I knew, so I knew, cute. honestly, that's all I wanted to like. Once I knew I wasn't going to win it, I was like, just let me wear my finale. <laughs> so, so, all stars more. It's like, we're like leading up to the finale. Like, like maybe like the Sex in the City challenge or whatever. We're knowing, you know, preparing for that. We're like all like trying to, starting to pull out our finale things. And we're all like, you know, doing finishing touches on them. And then <laughs> I pull out my finale. And Naomi's like, what's that? I was like, oh, this, I was like, this, this one waiting for the finale. She was like, that's what you're wearing? And she was like, I'm confused. <laughs> you wore that angelic white one, and you're wearing this for the finale? Okay. I mean, joke was on me. <laughs> I mean, but you're right, though. Like, in hindsight, I spent so much money on the angelic white, and I spent less than a quarter of what I spent on the angelic white for the finale. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. I just wanted, I just, I, I just had this idea of what I wanted and the designer I went to. So stupid, the stupid decisions were made. Oh my God, Jacob. This would probably fit my head now. Oh, <laughs> Jacob brought it out. <laughs> the scarecrow look. 
Oh my God, the scarecrow look. Drag Race I, I, icon. I'm not even going to embarrass myself on this podcast and put it again around my waist, but <laughs> she's a real cute shoulder shrug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love. Crazy, crazy, crazy. She still has a girl. I think oh. he also has Kim, the that, that thing Kim wore to the New York City premiere too, or I had it for a while and I gave it back to Bob. Yeah, but he didn't want it. Kim was just like, I'm not packing this in my suitcase. Work. Typical Kim. Typical Kim at the end mm-hmm. of a tour over it. Well, at the over beginning, it. it was the beginning of the thing. Um, any, I'm trying to think of anything else that stuck out when they were getting ready. Oh, the episodes being an hour long, I think it's there. It's perfect for design challenges. Design challenges, the 90-minute design challenges, you would just get like... 18 segments in the workroom of like boring shit of people. I like that this is short and sweet. I feel like they didn't know that it was going to air as an hour. Like, I feel like they, when they, I mean, I don't know, but the way that, that they just seem so like cut. Like there's like yeah. one, they say one thing before the runway when they're like painting and I'm like, whoa. I know. Here. Yeah. Yeah. It, it does happen. It does happen very quick, but you know, Honestly, I'm I'm for it. I I I, I like the the hour long episodes. I mean, I mean, it's also your job to like watch it. So it's like, <laughs> of course, you're gonna like a shorter shift. <laughs> it was, I got shit to do. <laughs> um, I think we can go into the runways, Jacob. Um, when they are, you know, when they do that, dun 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 uh-huh. dun 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 dun. If War- if World of Wonder is listening. Remove the stock footage of the makeup brush. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> I don't, I don't think it's like a makeup that. brush with like powder. We don't need that. We are, we we are more. <laughs> Rue is more custom than that. <laughs> oh, not a stock image. Yeah. You know when they do like the like soundboard like uh-huh. going all the way up and like the lights uh-huh. are flickering. There's like this weird like stock footage of like a makeup brush blowing. It's it's bizarre. Hmm. I have to, I, when the last time I watched, I have, to, I have to think about that. I, I don't think I remember that. I'm, just, I'm, I'm also just very picky. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why your aesthetics and your visuals are always on point because you are very anal about it. And you know, I think a lot of girls can learn that lesson. Bob, anal. Wow. <laughs> so now my drag's a butthole. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about these judges' looks. Okay. Yeah, RuPaul is wearing a little open-toed moment. I know, crazy. Who is she though? I love it too. Oh, I wow. love this yellow. It's almost giving me like that fabric you had in y'all's promo with the blue, like the feathers. I always wanted something made out of that. Yes, it. Um, my friend was telling me, yeah, the, this is definitely very promo. I love the hair. Like, I yeah. love that it's, like, that big bubble shape, but it's a little, like, kind of, me- like, it's, like, the perfect amount of messed up, but still clothed. Yeah, agreed. But agreed. I I, I kind of wish this was a floor length. I'm not going to lie. Uh, he wears a floor length every episode. I know, but, like, I just love seeing, like, Rue as, like, a column, you know? <laughs> yeah. Rue. Rue column. Charles, this, this, honey, th- this um, hair on Michelle, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I agree too. No, I love Michelle Facade. Michelle literally always kills it, but this like bouffant coiffed thing, it, it aged her a little bit. And Michelle looks so young and and chic. Yeah, I I normally always love the hair, but that was just like a little. It was a little too hairspray, like off Broadway for me. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Not off Broadway. <laughs> Ross looks. I mean, Ross looks snatched. Ross is snatched, bitch. Also, he looks like someone just plucked him straight out the seventies. This, I love the top. I like the pants. I think Ross looks because last season or the season or for the past two seasons, it was sparkly bomber jacket, right? It's mm-hmm. a reverse sequence sparkly <laughs> bomber. So, I like that he's changing it out. He looks very cute. And I love that um, Janelle Monet when they asked about her look, what's your inspiration? She goes, Janelle Monet. I live. Okay. Was- I did not know she was always black and white. Is that, is that, has it always been a thing? Yeah. She's like always black and white. I mean, I'm sure not all the time, all the time. Right. Like the only color she's ever worn, but like as of late, she's always in the black, black and white. Interesting. Okay. Janelle Monet. 
work. Yes. Uh, and I don't, it's a bitch, it's a full gap. I love it goes from this like from the small lines to the big lines. She but Janelle Monae better work. Do you think but Janelle, Janelle Monae is a fashion icon? I think she always brings it. I don't know if she's necessarily I don't like who do you, who do you consider a fashion icon? I don't know anymore. Like who are the fashion icons? So let me think. I mean, I mean People can love or hate them. The Kardashians are fashion icons. Like, they set trends. They are definitely uh, trendsetters, yeah. Style yeah. Well, I guess I don't, I don't know if that makes them a fashion icon then, but they are trendsetters. Like, I feel like fashion icon to me is, like, Donatella, Versace, like, Anna mm-hmm. Wintour. Karl Lagerfeld. Andre, Andre Leon, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, in the fashion world, and they're an icon, but. Um, yeah. Yeah. I wonder, do you think Kim would ever be a guest judge on the show? I feel like she would. I'm, I'm sure they've like reached out and there's because if Chloe has done it, so but and you I'm know sure, what? What? They're Christian. <laughs> 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 they do have a fucking you, church girl. You know who I would actually love to see as a guest judge, like who? literally at this time, at this age, would be Northwest. Naomi. That would be iconic. Naomi. No. That would be no. iconic. <laughs> no. Yeah. Absolutely not. Uh-huh. I always wonder, I'm like, do you I like do you think the Kardashians watch drag race? Or do you think like Courtney or isn't that Chloe like watching this? I'm like, they don't watch the show. I don't know if they watch it, but I definitely feel like their like teams are like inspired. Yeah. Like, I yeah. feel like their glam squads are, they. I feel like they have had a drag queen on a mood board that they have, like, yeah, gone into a shoot scene. Yeah. Wasn't, I, wasn't Khloe Kardashian a guest judge? Yeah, yeah, she was. Twice, like, a long right? time ago. Twice she was. I think so. Yeah, she was. I know she, Khloe definitely was, for sure. But back then, though, you know, this is before the Kardashians were what they are now. This was probably, like, season seven or something like that i think chris would also be a fierce judge chris would be a great judge on drag race i can see that chris jenna would be yeah. a great she'd be, she'd be great and, I think and her rue would, friends yeah i think her and rue would have a really cool dynamic mm-hmm, for sure um but let's get into these lurks first oh up God, scared let's just keep in mind these hoes made them but yes, I, I'm, I'm, we're them. not being soft because of that reason <laughs> it's just something to keep in mind yeah, for sure. And we have a Mistress Isabella Brooks. I think this looks fucking great. Amazing. She so looks good. Incredible. I love like, this lep- this ocelot or leopard or whatever we're calling it. Mm-hmm. Um, super flattering. The black is super flattering. Yes. The and paint. she had this like cape thing. Let I think she looks so so good. Like this, like this this bodice, this leopard bodice. It looks so well made. Like how it's patterned. Like I'm like this bitch knows how to sew. Like this looks very 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 good. Yes, I love that she just like also she knows she's fierce oh. and she, she's gonna let us know when she's on the runway or in drag ever that she's fucking fierce. Yeah, I agree. I, I I've said it from day one. She's in my top three. I want her to at this for, right now. She, I, I, she's one of my. She's definitely one of my front runners. I, I have like her and like two other people tied to win the show. But I fucking love Mistress, Mistress Isabella Brooks for sure. I'm obsessed. I'm so yeah. happy she's here. I Same. will say it's really hard to do this whole like, ost like ostrich thing with the hair like the black ostrich it just like it doesn't read as ostrich when you're wearing black hair so yeah it it just reads as like another hair texture which is a little funky but yeah yeah that was just some editing that could have been done but yeah i think that she wanted she i think she wanted to wear the she clearly attached the ocelot to the feather thing of the fascinator but i think to bring her back to the michelle visage of it all she put on black hair and i'm like I think it's going to work with blonde hair, too. But the black hair is very striking, though. So I don't know. No, I love the black hair. I just don't like the yeah. black ostrich. The black ostrich fucks it up a little bit. Um, Let's go on to Aura Mayari. Boot. No, right? Yeah. No, like, boot. Weird no. skirt length. No tits, but pads. Like, what are we doing? I hate that. 
<laughs> I hate that. Like, if you're going to put a hip pad in, put a titty in. Put some, so yeah, put some titties in. Yeah, this is a no. Like, it's, it's, yeah, it's no. It's no. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like this, like, gold little collar thing. And, like, I think she tried to, li- I think that the skirt is lined. Is that lined at the back? But it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's like a loincloth. But, like, a like like bad party city loincloth uh, cave woman outfit. Is it, like, a scarf that's hanging around her neck? In the back? I that- think so, maybe. And then she has like the drape for the curtain as like a sash, a, a belt sash thing. No, no. I do, li- I do like the um, the bra, like how it is like on that, like it almost looks like it like folds over to one side. I do like that detail. That's a nice um, little detail, but to me, still overall up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's the first thing you do when you wake up? Is it checking your phone? Is it checking your beeper? Is it checking your fax machine? Is it checking up on your credit score? I think so. At Chime, that's what they do, girl. With the secure Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card, you can start to build credit with your own money. Chime reports your payments to credit bureaus to help you build credit over time. The members see an increase of up to 30 points on average. All this with no annual fees, large security deposits, or credit checks to apply. So start your credit journey with Chime. Sign up takes only two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at Chime.com slash rivalry. That's Chime.com slash rivalry. The Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card is issued by Stride Bank NA pursuant to a license from Visa USA Chime checking account and $200 qualifying direct deposit required to apply for the secure Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card. Regular on-time payment history can have a positive impact on your credit score. Impact to score may vary and some user scores may not improve. Out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply except at MoneyPass ATMs in a 7-Eleven or any AllPoint or Visa Plus Alliance ATMs. Are you ready to be the most prepared couch critic you've ever been? Of course you are, Miss Thing. Your new favorite fashion podcast has entered the chat. It's Giving Fashion is here to serve you up iconic red carpet moments, social media styles, and of course, classic TV and movie looks. Hosted by internationally renowned drag superstar, my homie, Shea Coule, they'll discuss everything trendy, outrageous, and more. It's Giving a must listen. So join them every week from Sony Music Entertainment and something else. Listen and follow It's Giving Fashion wherever you get your podcast. You know what they say. History repeats itself. And you know what? So does fashion. Let's go to Amethyst. Girl, she was tripping over that fucking thing the whole time and I was trying to not pay, t- pay attention to it but this is just... <laughs> no. no, girl. <laughs> I know. All I can say is like, poor thing. I know. She had like a good week last week, and now she's back to being a bottom bitch. And she tried to put this this gray stole to bring. Like, why even? Ha- I I just don't even. Uh, I just don't aesthetically yeah. like why. Uh, Very. Amb- I think it was ambitious. It was, know. and Lux was even trying to help her in the workroom, but and she was just saying like Lux is trying to like help me and like tell me to just go here. But you can tell no shade. I don't. I mean, based on what I've seen this episode, you can tell she doesn't have like a strong sense of design because she was like she's telling me to put this hair and drink this hair but i don't even know why that i don't i don't, I don't know if that looks good or she said i'm yeah, like, she's so like i don't have eyes design. for that yeah yeah so you don't have a sense of fa- a style girl and it this is showing in this look yeah it, it, it just it doesn't seem like it definitely is wearing her and she's not wearing much and i don't understand that it's like ruffle panty like at the slit thing yeah, like no, what uh, I yeah I feel it makes me feel bad for her and that's never like what you want to think when you're watching a drag queen. Yeah, and she's a sweet girl. Her talking heads are sweet. Miss um, Amethyst is sweet, but this is a fuck no. Yeah, let's go over to Miss Spice. I like it. Naomi. I like it. I mean, I hate the tights. The the tight color is a, a boot, but like. I like the outfit and I love the hair. I love the hair, but I mean, like, I like it from like the little, the 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 top of the waist up, like the black man with the with the bra and the purple thing. Like, that's a strong design choice. But that skirt is a throwaway. Like, that definitely is not cute. And just slapping them purple, that purple fabric on them shoes and on your wrists, no. But no. I like that. There's like a thought. Like, there's like a. 
I mean, the hair has purple. The straps are purple. Like the pop of color is like cohesive. Um, the lacing is like something different. I love the like X on her underneath the bra. I don't know if she's wearing tits. I'd love if she was wearing tits and she is potted. But um, one thing I yeah, will I say she's that not wearing tits. Both, I think maybe I don't know if they both did it, but I feel like Spice because I'm just watching it. I wish that when like she hits the end of the runway, instead of like putting her hand up and like looking to the side and all that, like just when you're on the runway, look at the damn camera. Just look uh-huh. at the damn camera. If you're not gonna look at the judges, look, look at, at the camera. camera. It just exudes so much more confidence. You hit her first. For all you girls, it's going to be a season 16. And Naomi Smalls is giving y'all sound advice. Look at the <laughs> fucking camera. Walk down the runway and look at the camera. Mug. Give it to yes. her. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Eye contact is just so hot in every yeah. capacity. Yeah. It gives you it gives you more je ne sais quoi. So Naomi says it too. I say a boot on this spice look. I think from the waist down, it's a throwaway. But. Gag. That's just me. Up next is Lux Noir London. She fucking did that. Fucking eight. Eight, 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 eight. Bitch, she that. ordered seconds, thirds. Bitch, it was Thanksgiving, bitch. It was, she had the hungry man meal. This bitch looks so good. It's so, so bomb. good. So bomb. Like, it, like in... It is a fabric cape. I don't know how the hell she like paneled it. So it just like, it caught the wind so bomb. Yes. It was, everything about this is just such a serve. Yeah, this is so well done. And patterning the pants like that so that the stripes met, so it didn't look all like, so let's say the stripes weren't going down on one side and sideways the next side. Like she, she it was so well put together and it was so well constructed. Lux looks fucking great. And having it like the, 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 the cape cropped in the front so it has all the drama in the back, the cording hair she used, bringing it up to the hair. She better work. She looks great. Um, in an interview, uh, she said that Naomi was her favorite Rue girl. Do you, would you like to say anything to your biggest fan? Ooh. Oh, I love that. I mean, honestly, I do see it like in her makeup and her like, not necessarily, we don't have like the exact same makeup, but I see like the nose contour and I think we have some similar references. And honestly, I, that's probably the coolest thing about drag is that what you do gets to inspire like the next generation. And I do mm-hmm. love seeing like anyone that has been touched by the Naomi Smalls bug. <laughs> because it is an infection. Uh, well, you see, so Nelux is 23 now. Season eight was what, seven years ago? Eight years ago? So you yeah. minus that. So Lux was like 50. She, she was in some some gay kid in high school watching Drag Race, seeing herself in Naomi Small. I was like, oh my God, I wanna I wanna be that fierce one day, you know? And she absolutely is. And she's also the only like I know it's only been what, four episodes now, but like the only entrance line I remember. Gag them a bit. Sure. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Well, you know, and, and I, I want to say this too because people, you know, people are saying that Lux is being delusional, blah 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 blah, and and they're making like making it, it like a race thing. I want to say this: it is honestly, it is an asset to be delusional, draggers. You want to go on draggers being delusional. Some of your favorite winners were fucking delusional. Bob the drag queen was delusional on the season. You know what I mean? Like Aquaria was fucking delusional. Like Evie Ali was like you have no one is saying that being delusional is bad. Like I think in the parameters of a competition reality show, bitch, you want to be delusional. You want to think you are the best. You want to think you are exceptional every time. Like that, that, that is not a, a, a negative thing. And I think Rue wants that too. Like when you look at a winner, you're not going to be like, oh, I want the meek one. No one is yeah. saying that. No one no is one. saying that. Yeah. Agreed. You want Being delusional is an asset in Drag Race. I honestly think so. For sure. Um, let's go on to Robin Fierce. Robin Fierce. I thought this was good. I, I don't think it was a like slam dunk. I don't think it was bad. I, I think it was it was it was a it was a good safe look. That's a boot for me. I think it's well really? made. Really, I do think it's well made. There's just some. It's just boring, you know. Yeah. The, what I would change is I would make that asymmetrical skirt a little more interesting. Like they were, it was too close to like, it was like, instead of like this, I'll make it more like this. So it's a little more interesting to the eye. And that like shoulder pad thing, would, I wish you would have hid that strap, but it's something else with it to make it look more cohesive. But I think it's a safe look. 
And I think that the when she's like walking, the way that the like air picks it up, it just. I I mean it's a design challenge. I know it's small, but like, if she just lined like those first two pleats that were like kind of like flipping up, you didn't have to do the whole thing. I think it would have mm. just elevated it so much more instead of seeing that like white backing of the flannel. Ah. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's honestly it's not a boot. It's not a boot. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, is yeah, and I'd also uh, yeah, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree. Um, let's go on to uh, Jax. Now, this is a very controversial week. This look this week, girl. People are feeling so different type of ways. I like this look. I think that this was a. I did not expect that she could sew so well. I how she made this. I think the skirt is so well done. Yeah, the jacket is a little ill feeling, but she she made a jacket, a skirt, and shoe covers, boot covers, for the runway. I think this is a good look. I I like it. I think it's a good look too. I think the styling is where. It, yeah, like, I don't think Rue likes that wig. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the collar and the wig take you out of the world. But again, like as someone who on season 10, I only brought like se- 10, like one per thing with me. Like I was like, bitch, I, I know what these other ones go to. I would be so afraid to wear another wig for something else. But I agree. This wig does not work. And that collar doesn't work either. She could have done something else. I think her, her um, I think she was like one of the only ones that really opened up before the runway about like mm-hmm. how she was adopted by like two white parents oh that yeah very very interesting i almost like i feel like i all oh, kind of got that vibe before she even like brought it up i think that's probably just because it's something that i like relate to as well not yeah. necessarily the like feeling um a belonging like, yeah not the, like the not because i had like so many siblings that had you know similar story but i definitely um it was nice to hear that because I think there's a lot of kids out there that go through that. Yeah, but I, I kind of got the vibe like through her drag that some of the things she was doing, I was like, that it doesn't seem um, like it comes from the same place. Yeah, yeah, I I I, I hear that. I feel that too. Um, I want to rewind a little because I forgot when because oh, this episode we saw Rue doing walkthroughs. We have not seen Rue do walkthroughs. Oh, at yeah. all this season, because there's so many girls. We didn't see them for Snatch Game. And um, I like the walkthroughs. My favorite <laughs> walkthrough was when Rue was talking to Amethyst. And he was just going, because she was, like, telling him his ideas. And he was like, well, you don't sew. You've been in the bottom twice. Your feet stink. Your head is uneven. <laughs> You're like, How can you win? And I was like, damn, RuPaul. Damn. I, think, I, I remember hearing her reply to Rue in that moment. And I remember being like, she's going to go home. Because she's like, gee, thanks. <laughs> and I was like, ooh, yeah, that's not, that's not. Girl, yeah. right, right. Um, Let's go on to Anitra. Let's talk about Anitra. Thoughts. Oh, I like seeing her as a blonde. Fucking hate the shoe. Hate, <laughs> hate <laughs> that shoe. I wouldn't even wear that shoe out of drag. <laughs> um yeah the shoe is not cute i don't i don't pres- i don't i have my feet are too big to wear flat shoes like i need to have a heel so i give to give some kind of femininity like my feet are i just have huge feet so i would never wear a flat shoe not even that so i agree i think her outfit is interesting though i love the asymmetry of all of it i love this like panty slash skirt it was like a a pert. Um, sure. I think that's really cute, and I like the top too. I, I like this look. I, th- I think this this is a good look. It looks it looks well made too for such, yeah, for, such a, for such a short amount of time. Interesting details that no one else had. Um, but fuck, man, that shit was just so so ugly. The yeah, um, I I love seeing her in blonde. I love the blue eyeshadow. I love like. Everything worked except for that goddamn shoe and the color of the tights. But hey, <laughs> yeah, what's going on with the tights? Like, do these girls just like never see the sun? Do they not let the girls outside to the pool anymore? <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say, like, I know because girls go on go on draggers and they're like, "Well, I didn't know that um, that the TV changes your color of tights." I'm like, when I went on drag race. Even on season 10, my tights always match. I never had this, like, I, never, I didn't watch the show back and be like, oh, I didn't know my tights were so light or my tights were so dark. My tights always match my thing fully. So I don't know 
and again, I'm not saying that's not the case with other people, but that just wasn't my thing. Like my tights always worked on camera. The My Beautiful Nightmare runway last week, um, Lux is grayscale mm. situation with the tights. I have I, I've been in the exact same shoes though. They did not look good. You were when you I did when you when you did the, the grayscale Raven. The Raven, yeah. Um what I think was my was my flaw when I did it is I definitely wore like the brown tights underneath. I mean, bitch, I don't fucking pad. So that was already a recipe for disaster. Like it was <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. Um, but I was doing the brown tights and then I did like a gray pair of tights over and then I think I did a black fishnet. If anyone's doing this in the future, I think what you need to do is do yes, you can do your brown tights because I know those are the compression ones, but I think you should do like uh almost like fleece, like a gray fleece tight over all of that, which is like thicker, and then mm -hmm. do the black fishnet over that. Got it. Okay. Just something I, that's not so like opaque and like sheer, like a tight. Yeah. Oh my God, Lux, Lux really, she is really doing the Naomi Small School of Drag. Even the great thing, I just, I just, I just made that connection. We make the same mistakes. We have the same nose. <laughs> <laughs> but let's go on to Selena S. Cities. Another controversial look. What do you think about this look? You know what? I did not hate it, I think, as much as everyone else did. I liked it better when it was like, of course, the like the parachute skirt situation was down. I think she should have this hair color made all the time. Like, I think mm. this is my favorite hair color on her. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't think it's that bad. And I think Me like, too. I liked I, it. it. Do you think she made that like red romper long sleeve thing? Yes, I, th I think Selena, Selena, she did a post on it. She made everything that she wore. Every single thing. So I, first of all, that skirt, bitch, the skirt was so well made. The leotard, the romper thing. Covering yeah, the, the leotard. Bra. Yeah. I, I, I was like gagged actually. Cause like later on when it actually stayed on and it didn't like unsnap or get fucked up when she's moving around. I was like, oh, this is like well made. Yeah. I think I was gagged when the judges were like, when they like read her for a little bit. I was like, what? I was like. Yeah, she came out in the thing, but from the time the reveal, like I think it was all and to make that in the time and to make this in the same time, Spice made her bra and skirt, or an or, or Aura made that thing. Yeah, bitch. let's 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 keep it. Let's keep the pressure on Aura instead of Spice. <laughs> <laughs> I think Aura's look over this was like, come on. You know, like I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I think Selena looked great. I, I I thought this was very well done. Also, all the tones of it too, like the brown with the uh, with the with the maroon. Like I I don't know. I just I just thought it was a it was a good look. But they they came for her and Jax on the fit issues. Somebody it was like a little baggy. Yeah, bitch. I just made this outfit in eight hours. Yeah, but also like I think she should have just maybe um let go of that like parachute like jacket at the top mm. of the runway. Yeah, like like, like as soon as she like, came out. Like spin into it and then walk, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because maybe yeah. Maybe she had this on too long because this picture we have. She's at the bottom of the runway with this damn bed comforter, sleeping bag, <laughs> sleeping bag, lumberjack sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah, let's go on to Sasha Colby, mother of the house of Colby, bitch. She is snatched. She said. Orlando drag slingshot like house of yeah you know everything it was it's bomb yes she looks so fucking good this like high this this fucking this fucking uh their eyes were watching god pony but just pony she's fucking <laughs> Sasha has a who girl that shit is high it is snatched I love it and she's like All painted right. and Sasha is normally painted but today mm -hmm. she's like she she looks like painted yeah Ugh. she's she looks i mean the body too like body. the body is painted <laughs> right Ch children take a note this is naomi smalls trixie mattel sasha colby if it is going to the camera you put you're putting some foundation on it if yes. it's skin and you know what she would have been even more cunt what a non-sturdy shoe <laughs> Just give me a stiletto, girls. 
Is it so much to ask for a stiletto, a pump? Like, give me, give me an uncomfortable <sighs> shoe for something that's gonna live on for the rest of your life. Yeah, imagine this was like a nice, like open-toed, like five inch sandal, no like, platform. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's asking a lot. I'm just asking for a four incher. I'm asking for a four inch period. <sighs> and I and I agree with Michelle. Like this this jacket design, where it's like like a like a tight shirt into this shrug into a cape. Like that is so cool. That is I've never seen that before. That's really cool. That was a cool like design element with like the little um, shoulder, and, yeah, like, the billowy sleeve, and it's lined. Like it's just yeah, lined. It's so so, uh, it's so, so, good. so 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 good. Um, up next, Lucy Laduca. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> yeah, this is not one of my favorites. I don't think this is very well done. I know she's going for this like 70s mom Palm Springs aesthetic, but mm, why are mm, we trying to age ourselves even more? She looks so old. She makes her drags. So she makes the drag so old, right? Maybe she really she she likes that. That's giving Ella a day, like. Oh my god! To... I forgot, bitch. Ella a day does not like me. She does not fuck with me because we did. I think we did watchery for her season, or whatever it is, and I would read her like every. She hates me. <laughs> but you know what I love? <laughs> what? That the girls get in their feelings over you guys' opinions. You know, <laughs> that's when you know you've made it. Like when you guys care like that. <laughs> Like, it obviously hit a nerve. Yeah, Ella doesn't fuck with me. And I hope Lucy doesn't f stop fucking me because I would fuck her. Uh, but this is not, this is not, uh, this is not it. Boot, 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 boot. Ba -ba 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 boot. And also, yeah. I feel like I've just, like, seen, like, I've seen this hair. I've seen it. Yeah, I'm just, like, this look, though, is really good for Drag Race. For what? Blonde. Blonde, big, white, great for Drag Race. Drag Race love that shit. <laughs> I do. I think that I would like to see Lucy change up the hair color at some point this season. Like, and she did I, the black last week. Oh, she like did. That. You're right. She did. She did. She did. She did. She did. She did. I guess yeah. because she's from Connecticut and she's blonde. I just oh, I like. I think Lucy, Lucy's giving me white, white, like white, 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 and. I get offended by that. <laughs> like sure. overly whiteness offends me for some. Like Bob, my fa one of my favorite quotes was one of your guys' uh, something on the Patreon. Bob said, um, "Why? Like I don't get more annoyed than watching a bunch of white people in a crowd laughing. Why the fuck <laughs> are y'all laughing? But what y'all niggas laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed." <laughs> Yeah, bury that. Like that's how I feel when I see a queen like do the whole like I'm a Barbie. Not I'm a Barbie because I'm not trying to like I'm not reading like because I I stand Trixie's aesthetic so hard because it's like Same. she gets it, you know. But mm -hmm. like I don't know. I've just seen like the whole like blonde big tease. Like we've we've seen it. So like make it different. So many times. Yeah, make it different, girl. This is. But just... if I put my if I put my thumb over Lucy here, I would. I think it was like Trixie or Ella Oh my God, I'm doing it right now. And I agree because Trixie is this tacky. Trixie would get this outfit made and wear it like it's cute. So I see Trixie. Oh, oh my gosh, I have a story about All Stars 4. Oh my God, tell me. So when Monique and I got kicked to the back to watch you and Trinity lip sync. Uh-huh. And then the past winners of All Stars came out. And it was mm -hmm. Chad, Alaska, and Trixie. Uh-huh. Monique leans over to me and she goes, because Trixie was wearing like that, like flan I think it was like gingham or like flannel or some kind of like floor. But it was like a situation. stretched little dress. Yeah. And Monique leans over to me and she goes, is this bitch wearing cotton? <laughs> <laughs> what are my favorite core memories? <laughs> is this bitch wearing cotton? Love it. Sis. 
<laughs> Let's go on to Miss Malaysia Baby Doll Foxtrot Foxtail. I forget her last name. She was like eight. I can't remember. Dupree Davenport. Um, Malaysia. I think this came out good. No, I think it came out really good too. Especially like because I didn't understand what she was making. And I mean, I still don't really understand the cape, to be honest. I wish it had Me like either. some sort of like the palm was like maybe cut the palm leaves and have it like kind of like, you know. Doesn't have to Ooh. be like a, so it's not a straight line. Yeah, yeah. I never understand like a straight line in design, but um, yeah. Every I mean, she has a she got a purse, she got a hat, she got a cape, she got a like belt, so that's accessorized, and she looks great. I don't like that little sash in the middle that kind of throws me off a little bit. But I saw some some fan fiction online. Do we think that uh, allegedly people think that Malaysia knows how to sew, but she was trying to give herself the edit that she doesn't know how to sew, so that she would the judges would be so impressed that she would win. Do you think this might be going on here? Because this is very well done. Yeah, I don't know about that theory, but I do know she should wipe her teeth, get that lipstick off that damn teeth. <laughs> Like that's what I do know for for fact. <laughs> ah, yeah, I don't know about that. I do know she should wipe her fucking teeth, Down. brush your hair, brush your teeth, bitch, <laughs> brush your goddamn teeth. <laughs> and last but not least, Miss Marsha, 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 serving the house of Ross. I think this was, it's not terrible. It's, I mean, Fulty is just a circle skirt. It's a circle skirt, which in my opinion is one of the easiest things to make in drag. It's a circle skirt. But again, it's a, it's a silhouette we don't see very often. And she has this like top. I think it's fine. It's not terrible. It's not good. It's fine. It's fine. It's yeah. It's, it's a forgettable look. Yeah. Um, no one is remembering this, you know? Um, weird length. Weird length. Weird length. Yeah, I think she's trying to do her whole like, like, t uh, young woman in like the seventies aesthetic, like not too slutty, but like but lower than the knee length. I don't know. It's like her, her brand. This like seventies girl. It's yeah, it's like seventies, but like minimalistic. I don't yeah. actually. I don't hate her makeup though. Yeah, it's getting it's getting bigger. I think that because I, I think people learn from dusty red bottoms bitch you take more than one episode to to fix what they tell you you're going home so she's probably back there trying to like, sweating bitch just uh, a wing ah, you know yeah yeah i feel yeah. bad though because it's like you go you were you were auditioned looking a certain way mm -hmm. why y'all like reading me for who i am when it comes to, like like make like who you your makeup and your body is like just something that they know come in yeah. So if you're going to tell a girl to start wearing pads or whatever, like, bitch, I didn't wear pads in my audition video. So why are you saying this right now? <laughs> so I feel, I, I feel bad because I feel like you sh you're going to look back and look at those like experimental makeup moments that you had on the show. Uh -oh, you're going to look scared. back like, 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 like Derek Barry. <laughs> exactly. Bury that. Bury that. You then, know? You're, then you're crying in front of a mirror message and it's like, you don't even look like yourself. <laughs> I know. Um, whose look? First of all, which house do you think gave the overall best presentation? Uh, probably Palm Springs. Palm Springs. No. Mm, yeah, I think overall Palm Springs gave the best. Maybe actually, I don't know. Maybe Michelle's. <sighs> I don't know because in each uh -huh. one there's uh, Carson's has the one I like with the least amount of people. That's but the tartan, yeah, yeah. But in Michelle's, I only like I only like two of them. In Michelle uh, Michelle's, I only like Michelle's. Yeah, I See, don't for, know. Okay, it's so hard. for Michelle's, I like Mistress Isabel, and I like Spice and Lux and, and Lux. But yeah. For Carson, I only like Anitra. And then for Palm Springs, I like Sasha and Malaysia. Yeah. So, you know, I think I'll give it to Michelle. I think overall Michelle had the best. And um, because I think Mistress, I think Mistress Isabel and Lux are so strong. They're probably my two favorite looks of the night. So I'll have to give it to them. Was Mistress safe or was she critiqued? She wasn't critiqued. She was safe. These fucking judges are so stupid. Or was safe too, huh? Yeah. 
With that Bye. fucking pebbles ba, ba, and bam bam ba, ba, shit. Ba, 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 bye. Um, who's your favorite look of the night? Uh, Lux, for yeah. sure. Yeah, Lux she for gagged, sure. Gagged me at bat. Lux for sure. I would have switched Sasha and Mistress Isabel Brooks for the top for the second place. I really would have. Sasha was like the top. T- I would have. I would have switched them out. I think Mistress Isabel looks really fucking good. Yeah, I think she killed it. I yeah, for yeah. sure. Those are the top three. Because who was yeah. the top? Uh, it was Lux, Sasha, and who else was it? I think Malaysia. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But um, like, who, okay, yeah, yeah. No, Malaysia and Mistress are not on the same level. Not at like, all. I'm sorry about it. Sorry. Who? What were you gonna say? Who do you think had the worst look? Um, I feel like I booted one real fast. Which one was it? Um, Aura. I believe it was Aura. Oh yeah, Aura. It's for me. It's a tie between the worst look is Aura and uh, ooh, Poopy Laduka. Uh, <laughs> that was just that poopy was Poopy Lapuka. I'm not about it. Yeah, also, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. No, I still think Amethyst had the worst look. Oh, that's right. Maybe I just yeah, maybe I just like Amethyst's like personality. <laughs> but yeah, I think bottom two are Amethyst in looks, Amethyst and, and Aura, and I would give it to Amethyst because she, she was tripping over it. She was just a mess. Could you imagine having a lip sync in an outfit that you made? <laughs> 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 That being said, I do not. <laughs> Selena did not belong in the bottom. Selena was not a bottom look. The fact that they try to tell us that this look Selena made was a bottom look, I'm it's so fucked up because it was I not. I know. Crazy. That's crazy. Crazy. I think she honestly, this is my favorite glam I've ever seen on Selena. Yeah, I think she really needs her custom hairlines in this hair color. Ooh, Selena Cities, you hear her hair first. Get you some red, some red more red cherry. auburn fantasies. Yeah. Bomb. Um, also, this this thing that anytime there is tartan or plaid, this like automatic Westwood reference, it drives me so crazy. Oh my god, I'm so guilty of that though. The first thing <laughs> I said for Scarecrow, I was like, Vivian Westwood. <laughs> but yours was punk. You had the you had the punk and the silhouette. These are just like I mean, besides maybe um Jax is giving like a little punk. No, Selena is not punk. Um, uh, uh yeah. what's her name? Uh, Robin. Robin. I guess Robin does feel a little Westwood, actually, because of the, the boots and shit. Maybe I'm just a hater. I, I don't know. I, I'm i with you. I actually hate the boots on Robin, too. Like, the... I don't... I, I like that boot as a boot, but I don't like this that boot with this look. With this there, look, there's no, yeah. There's no black in her outfit anywhere. It's and in I her skin, that, Naomi. Oh, got it. Brown skin girl. <laughs> <laughs> My braids are black. My, my 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 pupils are black. So I'm gonna wear black shoes. Yeah, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> so we have Selena and Abbott is doing the lip sync, and Selena is going all in, girl. She is flipping. She is cartwheeling. She is leaving it on the floor. She's like, y'all are not sending me home, bitch. I drove here from WeHo. I'm not going back home tonight. <laughs> Her body looks. Fucking amazing in this lip It really looks good. Great padding. Like the great the thighs are the ass is it. Yeah. Assing. Yeah. yeah the ass she, is assing. When she gets on the floor and does what do they call that? Like when you like I don't know. The, 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 the cool kids probably have a name for it. I don't know what the name is though. I'm not cool enough. Me either. I'm also not yeah. thick enough for that. <laughs> What'd you say, Jacob? Oh, Jacob. Jacob's gonna it's come from, give us a tutorial. It's from WAP, isn't it? Yeah, I mean they do it in WAP. I mean they do it in WAP. It's not from WAP though. Wow, Jacob, not Jacob trying to. Uh, schooling us on twerking. Wow. Huh, huh. Huh, huh. Wow. Oh. Wow. I'm... You know when you know when I came. What? You you what you want to know what Jacob called me? He's been hanging what? around. He's been hanging around you guys a little too long. What he called you? Guess. <laughs> <laughs> what he called you? I would just like everybody to know that Miss Smalls is doing a bit right now. 
<laughs> you imagine Naomi walks in Jacob like, hey, what's up, my nigga? <laughs> That's exactly how it went. Wow. That's exactly Jacob. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, Jacob actually uh, got me a phone charger because I came unprepared with my 1% and a glass of water. <laughs> True hospitality. <laughs> True. Yeah, I, I, I'm not that nice to my guests. I'm even better. I always take care of my guests when they come over. Yeah, absolutely. You shaved, <laughs> you shaved your cats because I was cold. Maybe a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi, thank you so much for coming in and giving us your expert opinion and your expertise on a little drag race challenge. We love you so much, Harris of Rivalry. Oh, I love to be here. R.I.P. Amethyst. And I hope I get to come back and talk more shit. Of course. We should just, you, you, Bob, and I should do an episode before the season's over. Like, all three of us on one together. That'll be cute. I think we also need to do a video of us all gluing our nails on. Oh, I'm serious. Jacob, I'm going to do a Patreon exclusive of me gluing my nails on. And I'm going to, I'm not going to skimp any time. I'm going to do it in real time. We're not Naomi racing. Swears. We're just <laughs> getting ready yeah. for a gig. Like every gig. Should have nails. <laughs> <laughs> and I promise y'all it's not a minute long. I promise it's not a minute. I mean, I maybe I'm just, you know, hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but y'all, we'll be back next week with another episode for, it'll be episode five. Wow. That means only 11 more episodes until the grand finale of RuPaul's Drag Race. <sighs> who's, who's winning? <sighs> oh. My top three. Oh, we were saying this. My top three are Mistress, Lux, and Lucy LaDuca. Because of, Not like, Sasha your, Kobe? I know. Oh, I was going to say Sasha. Sorry. Mistress, Lux, Sasha. I forgot Sasha. Mistress, Lux, Sasha. That's my, that's my top three. Yeah. I'm, I'm in the same way, but I feel like I kind of have a hunch like Spice will get there. No? Really? I maybe mean, not. Maybe, maybe I'm just things. hopeful. I'm hopeful. Stranger I, things. Yeah. But definitely Sasha, Mistress, Lux. Apparently, we. I used to work at, this, at the same gym as the twins. Um, well, they used to work out at my gym. I used to work at, uh, you know, you know where I used to work out, work out at. And then um, the gym got, when they were like, we can't work out anywhere. Because that gym is, my gym is hood that gym is a mess it's a fucking terrible gym and they went over to like a nicer gym because because uh, my gym was too trashy fierce yeah i'm surprised like, i haven't work. seen them out and about in la yet i know right but I, maybe just didn't like to go out they I mean they, their whole drag career is inside they're like bitch we want to stay inside that's true honestly it's the future look honestly. at us now sitting on our fat asses talking in a microphone. <laughs> you know? So. Yeah. Naomi, I love you so much. I love you too. Thank you so much for having me. We love you very much. And I'll see you next time. Mwah. Bye, patrons. For the ones who get to see this mug. <laughs> <laughs> Mwah.